Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tip. Julian here for another drops episode and dropping a player from your team is never an easy decision, especially if there's someone that you've had on your team for a while and you're like, oh no, he's going to turn it around. He's totally going to turn it around. And now you're just like, oh, I think like I must have to drop him. Well, if it makes your decision any easier, that player may appear on this list today of players that I suggest dropping from your team. Before we jump into it, guys, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's jump right into the content and let's take a look at some forwards that you can consider dropping. And the first guy on this list is Mason Marchment of the Dallas Stars. Now, Mason Marchment is not a must drop. However, he is ice cold right now. In shallower leagues, eight men, 10 man leagues, I'm looking at you specifically, he's a super easy drop right now. There's definitely equivalent guys to him on the waiver wire. In deeper leagues, 12 men and more, you definitely can still consider a holding on to Mason Marchman. The upside is still there, getting very good deployment, and he's a very good player. Obviously, he's kind of been like this all year where he goes ice cold to red hot back to ice cold again. The red hot games might be coming up around the corner, but for now I'm listing him as a drop, just not in deep leagues. Pierre-Luc Dubois is a drop in all leagues. I don't know why 42% of you guys are still hanging on to him. I don't really understand it. He's been very, very bad. His deployment has been very, very bad, yet a very large percent of you guys are still hanging on to Pierre-Luc Dubois. It's time to cut the cord, guys. There is definitely better options on the waiver wire for you, or obviously just using that spot as a streamer spot is preferable to having Pierre-Luc Dubois on your team at this point. Then Braden Shen of the St. Louis Blues is another guy kind of like Mason Marchman who's really hot and then goes really cold uh, and then really hot again, but right now he's really cold again and his upside isn't as high as Mason Marchman's when he is hot. So... Braden Shen is pretty easy drop in most league formats. 8-man, 10-man, even 12-man leagues, as long as your roster isn't massive. Uh, Braden Shen is a pretty easy drop right now. He is really not doing a whole lot of anything. And then Joel Farabee has been pretty freaking cold as well over the past few weeks. He went on an incredibly amazing hot run there, got picked up to almost 40% of leagues, and he's still being held in 31% of leagues. But he probably shouldn't be, guys. He's a pretty easy drop right now. And Warren Fogle was picked up a lot because he was playing on the top line with McDavid. He's not anymore. And the Oilers did have a favorable schedule this past week, which, you know, makes sense for why people picked up Fogel. But now, guys, it's time to drop Warren Fogel because he's not doing anything and he's not getting that great deployment anymore. Jumping into defensemen now, the first guy I have on this list is Darnell Nurse. And this is the first time I include Nurse on this list, I think, ever. I love Nurse, right? I love the floor that he generally provides with the blocks hits and shots on goal kind of giving you all the categories you need but this year he hasn't been getting a whole lot of points and honestly those category coverages that just haven't looked as good lately earlier in the year he was fine and you know even maybe a little bit less than usual but right now he's really not doing a whole lot of anything no points the categories suck and if you're in an eight-man league i would drop him for sure i did in an eight-man league and i have no regrets at all i dropped him weeks ago actually uh, in a 10-man league, he's someone that you might want to start looking at dropping too. Uh, only if there's other defensemen that, you know, have some kind of skill available, obviously. If there's nobody even remotely good available, I'm not dropping him. But, you know, just make that judgment call in your league. If you see that there's some pretty good defensemen floating out there, I would grab them probably over Darnell Nurse right now. But overall, in most leagues, I am still holding on to Darnell Nurse. Don't get me wrong here. Brady Shea of the Carolina Hurricanes and... Shea has gone from somewhat serviceable to completely useless in just a few weeks. Yet 65% of you guys are still hanging on to Brady Shea. His floor sucks. His peripherals aren't very good. He's not getting points very often. I don't really know why two-thirds of leagues he's owned right now. There's definitely better defenseman options out there. And I've never been overly high on Brady Shea to begin with. Mikhail Sergachev is still owned in 52% of leagues. In half the leagues... Sergachev 
who's literally been confirmed to be out the rest of the season, is still owned. I don't really get that. He's he's not going to play again this season, guys. He's going to be ready for the playoffs, probably for game one of the playoffs, knowing how Tampa Bay works, but he's not going to play uh, for this season, guys, because this way, Tampa Bay can use his cap space for whatever they want. Sergeyev is definitely, uh, in my opinion, not playing for the rest of the year, so he's definitely droppable unless you're in a, a keepers league. And even then, unless you have a ridiculous amount of keepers, Sergeyev has not been good this year, so I wouldn't be keeping him anyway. Keandre Miller of the New York Rangers, 41% rostered is someone who honestly I was not a fan of last year fantasy wise obviously he's a great player and he really proved me wrong so this year I was like all right I'm okay with drafting Keandre Miller in the later rounds of the draft and guess what he's really 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 disappointed his points have not been coming very frequently the peripherals have been okay at best at this point, guys, it's definitely safe for the 41% of you that own him to drop him. If you're in an insanely deep league, I would say probably still hold him. But other than that, guys, Keandre Miller is definitely a droppable player at this point. And then Oliver ekman Larson has been doing a whole lot of nothing lately. He's not getting top power play time. Brandon Montour is playing fantastically, so he's not going to be getting any top power play time. And his peripherals suck as well. He is a very, very easy drop. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed my content today, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button guys if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next episode of Fantasy Tipped.